and an evident inability to be communicated with. I wonder if that has any, any correlations whatsoever. Well, let's get on with the Congress here. We've got one. How about bringing me my notes, huh? You know, I always have to have notes. <laughs> there we are. Good. Good. I always have to have notes, you know. Let's get on with the Congress here. We've got one. How about bringing me my notes, huh? You know, I always have to have notes. There we are. Good. Good. I always have to have notes, you know. Uh, Well, I'm embarrassed. There go all my notes. You can take these things away. You can take those things away. Uh, I hardly know what sort of a Congress to give you now. I mean, uh, here we've got all of the former schools that were supposed to tell you all about. Well, I'm embarrassed. There go all my notes. You can take these things away. You can take those things away. Uh, I hardly know what sort of a Congress to give you now. I mean, uh, here we've got all of the former schools. And they don't have definitions for the things that we consider the mind, you know, like life and uh, uh, being alive. And what do, I, what do you do with them? Well, I don't care what you do with them. Burn them. Uh, but you'd think they'd had definitions for things called the mind and definitions for things called a man or a woman or a life. You'd think there'd be objects. And the other day I had a wonderful idea. I was going to write a bridge book between psychology and Scientology and a bridge book between, between uh, psychoanalysis and Scientology. Now, don't you think that'd be nice? And we put them out in the bookstores and people pick them up and they read all about sci psychoanalysis and they... <laughs> doesn't find out about this. I didn't mean him to take me that literally. Well, there goes psychoanalysis. Well, in the fumes and flames of an expiring yesterday... <laughs> We can begin a new tomorrow. Mind and so forth, and they don't have definitions for the things that we consider the mind. You know, like life and uh, uh, being alive. And what do I, what do you do with them? Well, I don't care what you do with them. Burn them. What do I do with them? Uh, but you think they'd had definitions for things called the mind and definitions for things called a man or a woman or a life. You think there'd be objects. And the other day I had a wonderful idea. I was going to write a bridge book between psychology and Scientology and a bridge book between between uh, psychoanalysis and Scientology. Now, don't you think that'd be nice? And we put them out in the bookstores and people pick them up and they read all about sci psychoanalysis and then... <laughs> doesn't find out about this. I didn't mean him to take me that literally. <laughs> well,
Well, there goes psychoanalysis. <laughs> well, in the fumes and flames of an expiring yesterday, <laughs> we can begin a new tomorrow. <laughs>